I know it's late, but I was away all day yesterday and wasn't able to get everything done. I still haven't seen the race, so I'm going into this blind and won't spoil anything for you, so uh, don't worry about that. Take a quick look at the Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, Verstappen won the race for Red Bull. Signs got second, and Lando Norris got third, so no Mercedes on the podium this race. Uh, Perez, Red Bull, got fourth. Uh, Vettel got fifth. Gasly got sixth. Hamilton, seventh. Stroll got eighth. Akon got ninth. And Giovinazzi got tenth. Um, it was a great race. Um, boring, but great. Uh, as we said before, the race in our pre-show for the Monaco Grand Prix is all going to come down to strategy, and it 100% did. Um, Hamilton not happy uh, what, what happened or the team's strategy, and it came back to bite them. He lost a few spots and just was never able to recover. There was no passing, no passing zones. Um, so it all came down to strategy and not messing up. Speaking of messing up, uh, Botas screwed in the pits again, second DNF in five races. He uh, no idea what happened. They blamed it on him, blamed it on the pit. It, it, everything, everyone was blaming each other. Uh, I don't see how Botas messed that up at all. I think it came down to um, just a mistake. It happens. Uh, great to see Gasly in the points again. Held his own versus Hamilton, that Alpha Tori. Um, you know, Mercedes break behind him all the time, but. Monaco, not a lot of passing areas, and Gasly held Hamilton back, didn't let him get past, and did great for him and uh, the Alfa Tori. Um, first race where Mazepin uh, beat Schumacher, it was obviously without the passing, not a whole lot to change there, but um, you know, the Haases, they're just slow, and a little bit surprising that Schumacher at least wasn't able to get around Mazepin, but that happens. And uh, we got to look back at what did not happen. Obviously, uh, the um, pole person, uh, Leclerc, he wasn't able to race. Car didn't make it back on in time. And so you have to wonder, would Leclerc have been able to hold off Verstappen for the race? And I think with the way um, Sainz Ferrari raced, it would have definitely uh, been great. It would have come down to getting off the line of strategy. And there's a very good chance that the Ferrari may, would have been able to hold off the Red Bull. And their strategy would have won it. But I think we could have seen two Ferraris on the podium. And that would have been really cool. And so we're taking a look at the driver standings here. Verstappen takes the lead for the first time in his career over Hamilton. He's four points over Hamilton. Hamilton did get the bonus point uh, for the fastest lap. Uh, Hamilton's in second, Norris in third, Botas in fourth, Sainz, or Perez in fifth, Leclerc in sixth, Sainz in seventh, Ricardo in eighth, Gasly ninth, Akon tenth, Vettel eleventh, Stroll twelfth, Alonso thirteenth, Sonoda fourteenth, Giovinazzi the fifteenth, Russell sixteenth with zero, everyone Dreykinen, Schumacher, Mazepin, and Latifi all have zero points. So Nothing there. Um, but Verstappen takes a lead, and Norris uh, overtakes Botas to, for third. So, you know, one, two, and three, all different teams. Uh, you can see that here in the Constructors' Championships uh, standings. Red Bull uh, has taken the lead one point over Mercedes, with Perez picking up some points and helping them get up there. Um, McLaren third, Ferrari fourth. Aston Martin 5th, Alfa Torre 6th, Alpine 7th, Alfa Romeo 8th, and then Williams and Haas have 0 points. So Red Bull takes the lead, Alpine dropped down to 7th, Aston Martin had 2 drivers with points um, again, so they're looking good. Uh, if they didn't have such a bad start in the beginning, I think uh, they would have been great um, facing McLaren and Ferrari, And um, but we're having a great... Uh, C race here uh, between Aston Martin, Alpha Tori, Alpine. They're all fighting for that uh, fifth spot. So that should be good. Uh, interesting to watch. Uh, McLaren, Ferrari, two points from each other. So we have some good good races here for first, second, um, a good first and second battle and a good battle for the third spot. Um, 
and Alpha, to Alpha Romeo got their first points, and that's great. Giovinazzi, 10th place, picked up one point, so they're the first of the uh, bottom tier here to get some points. I thought it was going to be Williams, but it wasn't. Alpha Romeo, uh, Giovinazzi had a great Monaco Grand Prix right from uh, right from qualifying. <clears throat> so, as a Brigain, uh looking at the results for qualifying, again, I haven't watched the race yet, so i uh, not going to spoil anything for anyone. Uh, but uh, Leclerc, second podium, second pole in a row. Um, Hamilton got second. Uh, he's 0.2 uh, seconds behind Leclerc. Verstappen third. Gasly fourth. Sainz fifth. Norris sixth. Perez seventh. Sonoda eighth. Uh, Alonso ninth. And Botas tenth. Uh, we had another crash on the final lap, so no one got their fastest lap in. I think we could have had. A little bit of changes in here, but Leclerc didn't mess it up this time. His teammate did did and didn't. It really came down to Sonoda, but uh, another crash ended qualifying early, and um, we'll see how that affects the race. Uh, this is Yuki Sonoda's first Q3. Uh, hopefully, the team you know put him in his place and said, you got to stop talking, start racing, and let's see what happens. And obviously, not uh, in this is not reflected in this is Norris getting a three-position penalty. He's going to actually start ninth, but this was qualifying, not the grid. So we'll see how that uh, affects the race here. Uh, this is a, a great Grand Prix, a long straight. I really thought last week, um, looking forward to this, Merce, uh, Mercedes and McLaren were going to have kind of an advantage due to this really long um, straightaway. But as we saw in practice and qualifying, they don't really have that big of an advantage. It comes down to those turns, and I think Red Bull and Ferrari are going to have great races. Uh, I do think Verstappen is going to take the lead over Leclerc in this one, just because Red Bull is a little faster down the straightaways. So it'll be interesting to watch. So I'm going to go, um, based on this, I'm going to go Verstappen first, Leclerc third, and I'm going to say um, Gasly is actually going to get third here. Uh, Hamilton's going to drop down a few spots. I think they have more issues with their um, pip, their strategy, and I, I think it's going to come back to bite them. I think they're going to have a few issues here, but it's going to be a great Grand Prix. And then we'll be back in two weeks. The French Grand Prix is next, June 20th. A uh, really cool track, uh, a little bit uh, big return to more of the uh, actual racetracks instead of street courses. So we'll see how it goes, and uh, I look forward to talking about this Grand Prix. Uh, when it's over and we'll see you again in two weeks. Thanks for watching.